Well, I met Ray Kroc, and Ray is the founder of the company, and Ray was a very infectious sort of guy. You meet him, and his enthusiasm was just was limitless. And all of a sudden, he says, George, you know, what an opportunity to go to a country like Canada. And he didn't know Canada well, nor did I. He said, and bring McDonald's, it'll be great. And I scraped together $70,000 and, and moved to Canada, not knowing a soul, and uh, opened the first restaurant in London, Ontario. And people say, did you open in London because it's a great test market? And, and the answer is, well, I'd like to think it was a great test market. The truth is, I got a landlord who would build a store for us. And that's the only reason we went to London, Ontario. Um, and we had a party after the opening of the first store, and Ray Kroc says, well, everyone wants to be a millionaire. George, why don't you sell back the rights that I gave you for Eastern Canada, and I'll have a check for a million dollars on your desk tomorrow morning. And my dad said, is he kidding? And I said, I don't think he's kidding, Dad, but I didn't come up here to open one restaurant. I came up to open McDonald's across the country, and that's what ended up. Once I got to know the country and the people, I didn't want people to think that Canada is part of the United States. It's not. It's a separate country. It's, it's a large country. And so I said to Fred Turner at the time, I want to put the maple leaf in the arch. And he said, why? So that people know, Canadians know, that this is McDonald's of Canada. And so we're the only country to this day that has been allowed to do that. Mm -hmm.